Hello, I'm going to teach all the silly Americans about the geography of the United Kingdom of Great Britain to Northern Ireland because there's a lot of Americans that follow me and it's clear that they don't know geography. Americans. I've made this quite simple for you, but I know because you're an American, you won't understand it even when it's explained to you in the simplest of terms. Let us quickly start. For Great Britain, Great Britain is a collection of three countries, England, Wales, and Scotland, all of the countries on this particular island. Each of these three countries have their own capital, but collectively they are Great Britain. Now, when you include Northern Ireland, not the Republic of Ireland, but Northern Ireland with Scotland, England, and Wales, it becomes the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. You see, the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland is four countries, that is Northern Ireland, England, Wales and Scotland. The Republic of Ireland is not included in this because they are not part of the, a port, what is a port? They are not a part of the crown. Each of country has their own capital. Wales is Cardiff, England is London, Scotland is Edinburgh, and Northern Ireland is Belfast. Now, collectively, the United Kingdom's capital is London. Individually, though, as mentioned before, each country has their own capital. Are you with me? And again, if you're an American, you should be writing this down because you're an American. I've explained all this in a minute and 47 seconds, so we'll quickly review before we end. The United Kingdom is consisting of Wales, England, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. Not the Republic of Ireland, but just Northern Ireland, that is the United Kingdom. Great Britain is a consistence of Scotland, England, and Wales. They are Great Britain, three countries. The United Kingdom, four countries, Northern Ireland. And for God's sake, when you speak of Her Majesty, she is the Queen, not Queen, the Queen. Please comment below if you silly Americans understand what I'm talking about. And if you don't, then your grasp on the English language is American.